This is an easy fig jam recipe. There's no canning, no official canning, and no pectin. And I'm at my fig tree in the backyard, and I'm just picking off these figs. I'm kind of twisting them off. Um, these aren't perfectly unblemished, but they're not bruised. They've just kind of got stretch marks because um, they're so fresh, and they're kind of busting out. But we're making jam, so um, it doesn't really matter what they look like. Uh, stigs are, figs are sticky. Figs are sticky and also have a milky sap, and that's perfectly fine and edible, so don't worry about that. Um, take off the tough stems and quarter the figs. You could also half them if you want, if you want it more chunkier, but um, it's going to be pretty chunky even quartered. Uh, so then going to zest and juice a lemon, and you can make slices. You can, you know, cut the zest and not uh, cut the uh, rind and not zest it. And then going to measure these figs, and don't get too caught up on the number. This is like 54 ounces. It's 10 cups of figs. I'm just showing, I made it the other day with 40 ounces instead of 54. Same recipe is fine. Um, two cups of sugar, that's about a pound. And then I'm going to put that on a pot on the stove top, make a simple syrup with the one cup water and the two cup sugar. Bring that to a boil at a low, and then low simmer it uncovered for about five to seven minutes. Just makes a simple syrup. Um, and this pot is called a rondo pot and it's basically a 12, this one is 12 inches. It's a wide bottom, shallow pot and it helps to evaporate things faster. So you can certainly do this in a wider pot, um, but this one, you might have to cook the recipe longer. So we're putting in the figs and the lemon juice and the lemon zest and, um, the lemon zest uh, has pectin in it, the lemon has pectin in it, um, that lowers the pH, uh, the pectin helps, uh, the, the acid lowers the pH, the pectin helps thicken it. Cook that for 20 minutes, I'm just going to mash it with a potato master, masher, it's real rustic. Um, you, and then cook it for another 20 minutes. And so, um, use a pot that is, you know, stainless steel is good because it doesn't impart a flavor. You don't want to use cast iron unless it's got the enamel. Um, and then you're just going to stir it. And again, the pectin and the sugar kind of act as, a, or the lemon juice and the sugar kind of act as a preservative and they inhibit, inhibit bacteria growth for a certain amount of time. Uh, use your nose, use your eyes, you know, use your senses. Uh, generally speaking, um, this kind of jam with no canning and uh, no pectin will last about three months in the refrigerator if you don't contaminate it with your knife from another ingredient. Um, so what I did here is I had a plate in the freezer and I put this jam on here to try this method to see if it was thick enough and I ended up just playing with the jam so I didn't really love this method but I wanted to show it and um, basically it's done when you know you, you can make a streak in it a streak in it and doesn't the juice doesn't come back together but um, some people say that has to be coagulated but this is supposed to be an easy recipe don't put too much thought into it um, you don't want it to be watery, but it will thicken as it cools. And then put it in any can that you want. Doesn't, I mean, you're not, this is not official canning. So give this to your neighbors. You can freeze this um, as long as you leave room in the jar, unless it, you, you cool it completely down and leave some room, some air in the jar so that it can expand or, you know, do it in little plastic containers if you're in the, in the plastic. You can serve this. Um, with cheese, with peanut butter and biscuits and buttery toast. Love with prosciutto and ham uh, on a sandwich with like Gruyere Swiss cheese. And I think that's it. You can also add different variations, cinnamon, honey, ginger, rosemary, if I added hot chili peppers, um, balsamic vinegar, vanilla, I say cardamom, orange liqueur. Just add a little pinch of whatever you like. Rosemary, that's good. Um, I think that's it. You can find this recipe at eatsimplefood.com.